my life at the exact time I needed them the most um, to be able to move me forward, to mentor me, to guide me, to encourage me, to push me forward. Um, but you know, I've, I've been blessed to have mentors from church, um, friends that have just really stepped up, family members, loved ones. Um, there is a long list of people, but I would say it's just important to surround yourself with like-minded people. Yes. Have faced people that can truly resonate to your pain to a certain degree. Because once again, I feel like we all go through some type of adversity, but we are all after the same goal, which is to heal mm -hmm. and to be yes. Kind of find mentorships inside of the university uh and so you really do have to ask someone you know mm -hmm. my my mentor uh, and i i'm with you you should do it just risk yeah. risk rejection hell we get rejected all the time right right <laughs> right yeah go and it's all, it's person. yeah it's about that one yes that, that one makes yes. all the no's seem you know whatever you know and For you, what, someone who you really believe in and that you think that is someone that can help guide you not someone that's just going to be like, yeah, go on, do what you ever. No, help guide you, give you truth. Because when mm -hmm. my mentees, I give their asses truth. When they call me like <laughs> my agent, so and so, I'm like, girl, that little 10% you paid your agent, don't keep the lights on. It's, it's right. a partnership. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Who's out on some Denzel? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, it, it, um, I want to thank you, Courtney, for allowing me on this this pivotal corner this mm -hmm. cornerstone uh, um for for allowing me on your platform to to discuss uh, important matters and to to take interest in my life and uh congratulations on season four five six seven eight nine and ten <laughs> Okay, I wish you the best. I wish everybody here the best. Remember, true desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's already yours. I'll say that one more time. Come on. Hmm? True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's already yours. God planted that seed in you. Mm. Water it. Give it sunlight. Mm. Let the people see it. Career that you did before, right before acting and after football, or was it like straight, a straight um, line straight through? I, I always like, good, good question. I always like people to understand the story. Like, you know, I can easily say, yeah, I'm a football, I'm a straight into acting, but no, that wasn't the case. Like I said, I've been doing it for 14 years. I mean, a lot of times, this is the first time people are seeing me. Some people have been yes. rocking me and following me through other things, but a lot of times, the first time people are seeing me and are starting to get, you know, attached or get involved into my life, and I'm trying to be more of an open book with that. Um, no, I, when I started playing football, I didn't know what the hell I was going to do in life. I didn't know mm. what to do. I was going through a lot of different things, I think, in a mental space that I did not, I was unaware of or how to, to, to use it and to embrace yeah. it and deal with it. And, um, I mean, I, when I started getting to, I guess, in front of the camera, acting just kind of came to play where, you know, you come to LA, you ain't just coming to LA to act. You come mm -hmm. to LA to work as a, a waiter, uh, a come hostess, uh, yeah. for me, a, a, a group right. home, a security guard. So I was working as a security guard, man, for about three years. I saw the other things that I was doing. I was also able to coach football camps and things, find passion and gratification in that. But you're working on those autumn them things, them co-stars and guest star roles. I was still working as a security guard or doing odd jobs along that way just mm. to try to get to the point. Then when Get Shorty came about and had the opportunity to that, playing a kind of a guy that has the demeanor of a security guard. You yeah. know what I mean? How that yeah. process works. We look back on how that process works. Look where I'm at now with that. So and then that was Jurassic World playing a security guard. Mm. And um, that's when I was like, man, okay, I can start to try to branch away from some of these things, these other odd jobs and, and acting, be, I'll be a working actor now. Pursuing your dreams and living in this gift, COVID happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a yeah. pandemic happens. So how does how do you pivot, right? In, mm. in this world where everything has kind of gone digital or where things are just like, well, we had to cut this because you know, budgets, we can't yep. we can't pay these people anymore. So for you, how was that going into two years of this? And how were you able to find things to keep you motivated to stay within the industry? I honestly, like this is, 
obviously with COVID happening and so many lives that we lost, that is, I'm, my, I, my heart is broken for that. But for yeah. me personally, it made me be like, who am I besides an actor? Mm. And I couldn't even answer that. Wow. It was such a- A wake it, up thing, right? Oh my God. It was such a wake up call because like, we again, like it goes back to that thing that we're like on the outside, we have to make the people happy, we can do all these things, but it's like, oh my God, when all that's taken away, who am I? I do not even know who I was. Um, I knew who I was, but it was like a reality check of like, oh dang, who is Shell? Yeah. Let's get back to our roots. Like who, and then that, has made my career so much better. My girlfriend said, you keep saying you've tried everything, but I bet there's one thing you haven't tried. I said, I can't think of it. I can't think of it because <laughs> I have done everything. She said, have you ever tried to just be still? Mm. And I was like, that don't even make sense. Right, right, <laughs> like, right. How can I win and be still at the same time? How can I be successful and be still at the same time? She was like, you've done everything. You've done the work. You said it's on yourself. You've put yourself out there. You've had these meetings. You've put together packages. You've, you've done the work. But have you had the chance to be still? And I said, ooh, that's going to be a hard one for me, sis. I don't know. She said, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. So um, that particular year, I challenged myself to not reach out to anybody, to mm. not emails, to not follow up, uh, and just to let things come to me. Right. Um, the very, after the first month I did that, Courtney, mm -hmm. I booked a recurring role on Lee Daniels' star. Wow. I was like, wow. Oh my God. Yep. And then right after that, I was called by, I was, I, I had a phone call from Fox television mm. saying, we're interested in you doing a talk show. 